Hey guys and welcome! After a week of radio silence that I really needed to recover, to be honest, I will return to the regular content now and of course start it off with the new weekly missions in Battlefield 2042 and the new modes we got in Portal. The weekly missions are pretty simple again. Replenish 2000 health points of team or squad mates, perform 50 kills or kill assists and revive 30 teammates or be revived by them. Both counts this time, so shouldn't be hard to complete. As reward, you will then receive the Great Outdoors skin for Mackie. In Portal, we got two new modes, or actually one new mode and one return of a classic mode. After only one week of absence, Rush is back either as 2042 version or as Rush of Ages, where you play the mode on different maps of all eras. As usual, you will receive limited XP when playing these featured modes, but your weapon progress counts normally towards your masteries and unlocks. And in addition, we also got a new featured creator mode, this time by two angry gamers, that is called Run, Stop, Kill, Repeat. This mode looks like it was inspired by the series Squid Game and the red light, green light part, just that we don't have any lights in the mode. Instead, there are two phases. A running phase that lasts 20 seconds, where you can freely move on the map and bring yourself into a better position, but you can't shoot. This is followed by a combat phase that lasts 8 seconds, where you can't move anymore, except for crouching and going prone, but you can shoot at everyone within your line of sight. To make it even more challenging, weapons change with each combat phase, so you also need to adapt to a different weapon all the time. And it's always a bit surprising which weapon you receive. Might be a pistol, might be a sniper or everything else in between, you never know. The match ends when one player reaches 15 kills or when the time limit of 15 minutes is reached. Since the mode is based on free for all, there are no teams or squads available, but also no specialists and their abilities. You play as a World War II soldier only equipped with the weapon you randomly receive each combat phase. No gadgets, no grenades, nothing. If you like playing Gunmaster or you simply want to test your reaction time and ability to adapt to different weapons and situations, be sure to give it a go. It might only be available for one week again before it gets swapped with another featured mode. And that's it for today. Nothing spectacular, but a short overview of the new content we got today. I'll be back on the weekend with one of the next weapon guides to Battlefield 2042, so be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.